Hi, welcome to video number five. In this specific video, you're going to learn about keywords, hashtags, and links. Now, keywords and hashtags help you get higher visibility to your pins and eventually to your pin boards. Most people don't use hashtags, but when you create your pins, it's actually very easy to do, and I'll show you in just a minute. First of all, I want to start out by talking about keywords and how it can be beneficial for you. Keywords allow you to get more exposure by getting in front of pinners in a specific market who are looking for you. In other words, these pinners are going to Pinterest, they're going to the search bar, they're looking for specific pictures and a specific keyword. So if you can apply your keywords to specific images, you can get more targeted eyeballs onto your pins. And it also will get ranked into the search engines. When you post a brand new pin, make sure that you use relevant titles or relevant keyword titles and informative keywords focused inside of the descriptions. So in other words, you need to know what kind of keywords you want to rank on beforehand. And you can use the Google keyword tool for free to do that. Uh, however, in this case, I'm going to assume that you've already have those keywords. You, you know what to target. And w with what we showed you earlier on how to find the de demographics and so forth, you should have some keywords in hand. So use the keywords wisely in your descriptions. Another thing that you can use is whenever you repin other people's images, you can actually change or add the description with relevant keywords. Now, if you repin, you'll notice that most images don't have a description, or if they do, it could be improved. So this gives you the chance to improve it and make it even more targeted. Now, when we create a board in the future videos, I'm going to actually show you how to take this one step further. Remember, when you upload your own unique or interesting pins with searchable keyword titles and descriptions and tags, you're going to get a lot more targeted traffic. Now let's talk about hashtags and how you can use hashtags correctly. This symbol is used to mark keywords or topics and doing this will help people find you easier and is more searchable to most search engines. So as you can see the hashtag is just a number sign. You put a number sign and then you put the keyword. So for example if you included the hashtag number sign cupcake recipes in your description People can click on the hashtag and what's going to happen is the number sign cupcake is going to be highlighted as a link. And whenever somebody clicks on that, they are going to get pictures that relate to cupcakes. And this helps Pinterest find all of the pins related to that particular search term. Let me give you a live example, something that I, I went ahead, went to Pinterest and repinned somebody's item here, the yummy number sign lemonade number sign cupcake recipe. And I went ahead and repinned this onto a board that I created for recipes for cupcakes. And because I used targeted hashtags, Within an hour, the results came back. I received an email that said, seven people repinned your pin. Yummy, hashtag lemonade, hashtag cupcake recipe, and one person liked it. And that was an hour later. I didn't do anything except for pin somebody else's, repin somebody else's pin. And I, but I used hashtags. And as you can see here, this person repinned it into their board of cupcakes and their favorite recipes and their food ideas onto their food boards and so forth. So imagine just having one image 
on your board and having a collection of all of your images, but they are targeted. And because they're targeted, people are going to search for them and they're going to find you. So imagine this, like an hour later, it was seven people. And imagine if it were 24 hours or a few days later. It's not like I did anything. All I did was put up a pin of a picture and targeted it. So as you can see, it's actually very, very powerful to use hashtags. Now, this is not rocket science. So remember, include number sign keyword in all of your pin descriptions, even the ones that you repin. Now let's talk about links. You can't really add a link to pins unless you pin a image that's on a content piece or website or use you use the pin it button which we'll talk about later on. Uh, but in terms of links only in your Pinterest profile description can you add a link to your website or to your Facebook page or your Twitter page. So if you don't have a website, that's fine. Go create a Facebook fan page. That's free. Or create a Twitter account. But you definitely want to include links because depending on the market that you're targeting, if I'm targeting cupcake recipes, then... I would probably want to include a link in my Pinterest profile description about cupcake recipes. As the more targeting you get, the more eyeballs you get to your site, then it's targeted and they, that's what they want. So it's not rocket science. Just target everything, use consistency in terms of the target market and with your keywords. And of course, make sure that you fulfill everything, fill out everything in your profile. Otherwise, it's going to look incomplete. And links are external connections that allow your users to find your boards and pins. So make sure you use the descriptions wisely whenever you pin things and make sure that you include a link in your Pinterest profile description and use the pin it button as much as possible to pin other content from your website. 